Hi everyone, it's summertime and this time I will show you how to make a rhubarb homemade alcohol, rhubarbarówka. I will walk you through the whole process of preparing ingredients, time each step takes, filtration, labeling. Right at the end you will have this great nalewka. Enjoy! Rhubarb is a fleshy edible full of vitamins stalks. Rhubarb is a vegetable, but it's often put to the same culinary used as a fruits. It's a bit similar to celery, although it is in a different family. The stalks can be used raw when they have a crisp texture, but are most commonly cooked with sugar and used in a pies, crumbles and other desserts. I will use it to make delicious homemade alcohol, nalewka. I start by cleaning the rhubarb from the ends and remains, so that I only have a clean stalks. Then I wash all vegetables thoroughly. I have bought around 3 kilograms of rhubarb. Great! Now I'm going to cut all these stems into relatively small pieces. This way the alcohol will penetrate the vegetables more easily. All pieces go into a large jar. When I have a layer ready in the jar, I sprinkle it thickly with sugar and mix. I repeat that process till I'm done. Ok, first jar is good to go. Now the second one. Ok, when I finally have a full jars of rhubarb and sugar, I will let them sit overnight, that sugar will take juice out. The next day. Look how all the sugar melted and juice came out outside. I will now add a bit more sugar and mix. Next is water. I'm pouring 0.7 liter to each jar. Now my super water, 95% of power spirit, pure alcohol. 0.5 liter to each jar. Now mix it well. And another 0.5 liter of spirit to each jar. Mix it well. The jars will be stored in dark, dry place. Next step will be to wait, most likely till autumn, around 3, maybe 4 months. Four months passed. Check how fruits and liquid have changed color. Rhubarb is now more pale and liquid pink. With help of bowl and colander, I pour alcohol from the jar. This liquid I store in separate bottles. And now I will take care of fruits. I help myself and crush the fruits a little to extract the juice better. Now I will put the prepared fruit back into the jar. They will be sprinkled with sugar to extract as much liquid as possible. Every time I put a large handful of fruit back into the jar, I sprinkle it generously with the sugar and then mix. I pour all the liquid that flowed through the colander and escaped from the rhubarb into bottles. 
I already filtered this liquid by strainer. Now I will do the same with second jar. First put everything through colander. Liquid goes to bottles. Then mix fruits with sugar inside the jar. Ok, I'm done. I have a jar full of rhubarbs and sugar and 6 bottles of half done nalewka. We will meet in next 2 full days to continue. 2 days passed and look how much liquid I have gathered for melting sugar and extract juice from rhubarb. I will repeat steps now from the first jar and smash fruits and extract the liquid. Remaining rhubarb, for example, can be used for cake. Now I have bottles with juice and alcohol and bottles with sugar and juice. Next step will be to mix everything evenly. This time I just use a new bottles for that and put everything in even proportions. Great! Now I have these five and a half big bottles. Next step will be a final filtration by coffee filters. Look at this color. Two bottles done. Another bottle is ready. Already five done. Going well. Seven is already done and this will be the last one. Great, all are done. Eight beautiful bottles and ready rhubarb online alcohol. It's time for labels. I put my great looking very much pink labels on bottles. It is over. Eight beautiful looking and the delicious rhubarb homemade alcohol are ready. Thank you for watching and see you next time.